That's a strong. Hey, it's going, hey, it's going to be two and out. Everything you got, Corey. He's like, please don't let this affect you. And he's saying that in a way. How many guys have 21 inch arms? Not many. So, but I mean, 23 isn't bad. Isn't that what Hulk Hogan used to have? No, 27. 24. He claimed this was 24. He claimed 24 is what he claimed when he would talk about the 24 inch arms. Here we are just hanging out, having a meal before Corey's match. Now, if this was my day, I'd probably just be hanging out in my room, get my mind right. But Corey feels most comfortable around friends, family, and fellow supporters. Not a person at this table doubts what Corey's capable of. Hell, even a fellow competitor's over there who knows what the grill has been through. He's seen the transformation. He knows the power that's coming. That guy, it don't matter. He had a 46 was shredded. Man for Corbin was a freak. Heck, I'm just ready to get this match started. Watch my boy in action. You said you love him? I was talking to you, but I like him a lot. <laughs> you thought I was talking to Corey? I did. Oh, uh, I like Corey. Because Corey was talking, and as soon as he finished talking, you said, God, I love you. I just randomly told my wife I love her. <laughs> Holy shit, look at those forearm veins. That's my mom's little mini. You see that shit? Ooh -wee. I must work out. <laughs> it's game time, baby. I know that guy. Walking up to the venue, who do we see? Corey's dad. So if you've ever watched a video and you hear a guy in the back yelling, go Corey, that's his dad. He's one of his biggest supporters. Brought the whole family up three hours from Arkansas to watch his son do what he does. It's gonna be a good day. Doing good, how are you? Doing well, sir. Good, man. Okay. What's up, dude? It's about that time. We got us a full house tonight. Lots of friends and supporters came in to watch the gorilla do his thing. You know, I've been doing this a long time, and I forget how cool this experience is. But seeing it through Corey's eyes, it's pretty freaking cool. But either way, win or lose, I'm going to be proud of this young man. He's put in the work. He's trained his ass off. He's helped me get stronger. So it's just cool to watch him enjoy this so much. Meeting these top guys from all over the world, Hermes Gasparini, Cataret, Todd Hutchins, walking through the pavilion and seeing all the banners up there and knowing that soon one day his is gonna be the right next to mine. Pretty badass experience. This can go on YouTube, you can't do that. <laughs> I can do anything I want. <laughs> she is Michael Todd's wife. Yeah. There is, there is. <laughs> How you feeling? Strong. That's what I'm about. Yeah. I mean, I wanted to holler right then, but I wasn't going to holler yet. Oh, really? I don't want to use it all up yet. <sighs> yeah. This is the guy right here. You good? Yeah, yeah go come on in, partner. We'll be backstage in that area. We'll be here watching. Okay? Cool. But between now and, now and then, chill out, relax, get ready to go. Uh, but when it comes to showtime, ideally 7 o'clock, everyone's back down ready. Good? The calm before the storm. There's been a lot of back and forth chatter between these two guys on social media. But you box them up in a room together, you can't help but like both these guys. Yeah, right now, I'm, I'm more stressed now than if I was competing because when I'm doing it, I have control. I have no control of what's about to happen. I just gotta have faith in the work that we put in. And I, and I know Corey's there, I know he's ready. Um, I'm excited to see what happens. I'm just ready to get it started. Can't, I can't imagine a scenario where he doesn't win. I can't. Hey, it's going to be two and out. I, can't, I cannot imagine a scenario where this doesn't go for his way. I just... I have to see him what the improvements that he's made in the last six months.
you damn strong. That's that train. Yeah. All right. You're That's that train. He just told me that he's fine. Come on. Come on. You go where you need to go. Hey, get him quick. You go right where you need to go. You got everything you need right now. Obviously, I'm proud of him for winning that match. But it didn't go quite the way I thought it would. I never expected to be on his bicep like that and having to work so hard to come back. I hope he knows right now that it's not over yet. He's still got to get one more pin. How you fucking you win? Can't beat you, Daddy, buddy. Can't beat you. Hey! You put in months of work for this moment right here. Thank you for the good work. This is nothing compared to how hard you train. You got all the endurance. You got everything. All right. All right. Did he miss the go? Did he miss the go? No, he did, but he hit the wrong angle. Shit! I was afraid this might happen. Adrenaline dump after the first match. Got a little too confident. Got hung out on his bicep. He just needs to plant his elbow as hard as he can, dig his hip into the table, and stop this match at all costs. Go, my man! Every Everything you got, Corey. He's not pressing. He's not pressing. He's not pressing. All that hard, Corey. All that hard right now. All that training right now. Everything you got, Corey. Everything you got. So, uh, come here, Mr. West, Gorilla. Uh, I'm extremely proud of this young man. Super proud. I've you never. Know it's fucking horrible. I hate it. Um, but it's, it's the truth, man. I mean, I, I've never seen anybody put in more work who works harder, who's more committed. Um, it's, it's a lesson learned for sure. But that's just, just to show you how good of a guy he is, he just came up to me. He's like, please don't let this affect you. And he's saying that in a way to not let it affect me going into my title defense, right? Because we train so evenly. And I felt like his progression, my progression was his progression. Um, but that's just what kind of guy this is. You know, he's he just took a loss that we were not expecting. And instead, Standing on the first instead of being concerned about his state, he wanted to make sure that I was okay. So, uh, a lot. To be honest, I could go ahead and just go home right now. I hated to see that happen to Corey. But I still got several more people's corner to work tonight. So I got to stay focused on that. And in the other corner, Monster Michael Todd. Give a shout out to my corner. These dudes right here, the Sidewinder, Justin Joyce, and the monster, Michael Todd, have been with me since day one in this sport, 2005. And they've been supporting the Razor. They're the men in my corner. And I wouldn't ask for anybody else than those two dark siders right there. All right, here we go. <laughs> Had a good ride home with you today. Have you had time to think about everything? What you got? What's going on? Uh, you know, it um, it still sucks. It uh, 
it kind of went away there for a minute whenever we were doing the after pulling and I was getting to pull some some pretty big names and you yeah, know watching you and Jerry was, was fun yeah yeah so I mean for a minute you know I got like this uh you know it felt better for a minute <laughs> and then I went, went to the hotel and went to bed and uh woke up and, and felt just as shitty when I woke up so you know it was a uh, it was a temporary fix I think no, I know what you mean, man. But it's like I was talking about in that mindset video. You know, people talk about losing is not an option, and losing is a necessity. You know, I, we weren't expecting it to happen this early, but you're going to grow from this and learn from it. I mean, we definitely found a hole that we didn't know was there. Yeah, um, you know, I think part of it was that, and then part of it was him just being a little stronger than I realized he was going to be. Um, so, a lot of credit to Paul for that. Oh, absolutely, he's very <laughs> strong. I mean, I underestimated him. I just but you did and in, in close the gap I mean the first time y'all pulled nine months ago he was pretty dominant and then you know you made a match out of it really well I just knew how yeah. hard we were training and I didn't and I guess maybe it's how easy you went through Woody and how strong you were feeling but like I said those are top rollers so I didn't we hadn't had yeah. you pulling anybody that was a strong inside puller like that I mean that's why pulling with Bruce I think is going to help a lot right I never would have dreamed that um, you know that he would have caught me on his bicep and and been able to, to weather that like he did so easily so uh it definitely <clears throat> it definitely located some areas that uh that i'm kind of exposing myself uh separating a little much and um, you know just missing some some horse there in a in us in an area no nah, man absolutely so we're still good to work out tomorrow though, right we're gonna hit this thing and make it happen oh yeah for sure because you know we still have some asses to kick here in a few weeks what is it, about six weeks out yeah, six, yeah, uh, maybe a little six weeks. Than, yeah, I'm, I think I'm, yeah. I'm a day shy of six weeks. So, yeah, um, definitely can't underestimate Woody. It sucked to, uh, you know, as nice as it was to close the gap on Paul, it sucked to lose. But it would sure suck to beat somebody and then turn around and yeah, and, uh, uh, yeah, you yeah. wouldn't be allowed to train him anymore if that happens. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> yeah, same things like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, good deal, man. Take it in, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night, okay? All right, man. See you, man. Take care. This is how you define a champion. He's not sitting around licking his wounds. He's back in the gym putting in work. There's a couple more tests coming, and he doesn't want to feel that defeat again.